Goku lose against Moro on Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 60. But before we start, I want to appreciate everybody. And if you're new to this channel, then go ahead and subscribe as we are trying to give out a PlayStation 4. Also, feel free to check all our different content. Like, for example, the legendary, the full morals arc, the theory, part one. You will fall in love with this story. Also remember that on May 20th, the Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 60 will be released and we will be doing a video about it. And stay tuned cause not only that, we will also be talking about all the leaked images that will be released during this week. But most important, go to your bell icon and turn on all notifications so you don't miss your latest Dragon Ball Super theories. Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 60 is right around the corner and I must tell you that as much as I love Goku, he is really looking like he will be losing against Moro. And I say this because even though he can tap into the Ultra Instinct sign at will, he is showing that there is a big weakness at that stage. A weakness that was pointed by both Angel Whis and Angel Mirus which also pointed that sign was only the gateway for the ultra instinct letting us know that sign is not really a form but a state in the transformation in which you either complete the transformation or you stay there and get drained quickly by it now Goku knows that Moro noticed his weakness and he decided to go all out. He says sorry Mirus, but conserving my stamina is just not my style. And with all that that I said, it makes us think that perhaps Goku might intend to obtain the Master Ultra Instinct. And also if we take in consideration the big rumors of the coincidence that if you pre-order the DLC for Dragon Ball Fighter, you are gonna get the Ultra Instinct, the Master Ultra Instinct Goku by May 20th instead of May 22nd or 23rd like everybody else would. And as I'm talking about it, I kind of realize and think about it, I'm like holy shit. He might do it, because this has happened before. But when I look back how Goku mastered the Ultra Instinct, he was really stationary in one's area, even though he was getting attacked and he was attacking back at will while he was trying to finish his transformation, he was in one area. And in my opinion, we must remember that Goku don't only have a weakness, which is being on that state that drains your powers quickly, but also that he must be moving at a fast speed if he wants to avoid Moro's draining technique. And sometimes we think as long as he keeps fighting, he's gonna keep getting stronger, so he's gonna be able to complete the transformation not realizing the reality that he is not getting stronger because in this state he's not getting pushed, he is getting tired. And I think that's the reason why Goku won't be able to complete this transformation because if he was then he for sure won't have no problem in defeating Moro since he would just be too fast for him. So why would Vegeta be training for? And on top of that, we must remember that Moro hasn't shown his true powers yet, while on the other hand, we got Goku that has shown all his powers, certified by Angel Mirus himself. Now the question is, if Goku does get defeated, which I think he will, how will things play a role within the next few chapters in the Dragon Ball Super manga? Because the truth is that even though Vegeta was shown in last manga chapter 59, he was never shown that his training was over. And in my opinion, I think it will be very interesting to see the Sea Warriors reacting to the whole thing if Goku gets defeated on Dragon Ball Super Manga chapter 60. But let me know what you think. Force your opinion down below the comment section and tell me, will Goku be able to complete his transformation and become Master Ultra Instinct? 
or will he get tired and lose against Monroe? Also, do you think the Z Warriors will have to get involved if Goku gets defeated? Also, what do you think about the presence of Future Trunk in the Moros arc? Do you think he's gonna get involved in this battle if Goku gets defeated? Also, what do you think about the Android and the possibilities of meeting Android 35 in this arc? Also, do you think all oh, that is nonsense and Vegeta has finished his training and has mastered the spirit control? Please let me know, but most important, go ahead and like, comment, hate, and subscribe so you don't miss your latest Dragon Ball Super theories. Ha! <laughs> <laughs>